The goal is always to entertain. That's the driving force behind what I do. Oh! So here comes Young Rock right down the pike, and I hope you enjoy it. You must be rich. What's your name again? Tomas. Why'd you say your name was Tomas? Because it sounds way cooler than Dwayne. This entire series has been inspired by moments in my life growing up. It's my mom and I following my dad around the world as he wrestled. The most exciting part of being in the show is it's about Dwayne Johnson and everyone would want to see that. This is where you make your money. It's my earlier years when I was a teenager. I went to about three or four different high schools. By the time I was 14, they all thought I was an undercover cop. No one thinks that. You have a full mustache and you're bigger than a dad. I'm 15. When I was growing up, there wasn't a real consistency in, in terms of home life. Need any help finding anything? Nah, nothing's really catching my eye. Thanks, so. though. Which eventually led to me buying a car. Here she is. From a crackhead. You guys kid. There was another crackhead who woke up in the back seat. Where are we headed? Jeez, oh, <laughs> who the hell are you? I'm Waffle. It's an awesome show with tons of super dope characters, and they all have real stories behind them. We examined my later teenage years as I got to the University of Miami. Dad, you were here this morning? I go out of my way to set my son up for success. What, by telling him I was going to be on a Wheaties box? Surprise! <laughs> I mean, it's an incredible honor. We get to really get a good insight into Dwayne's life. I got big dreams for us. My big dream is you. This is a woman who, through a lot of challenges in her life, uh, managed to really keep the family together, and she always was coming from that place of your heart and love. Nothing is more important than family. My grandmother was the first female wrestling promoter. She said she has to be twice as mean so that she could get respect from a male-dominated sport. We run the gamut of all these moments and experiences, including the unpredictable world of professional wrestling. We had to cast all the wrestlers. Randy Macho Man Savage. Ooh, yeah, now that is a precious memory, yeah. And the Wild Samoans. Hey, do you? The Iron Sheik. Oh, and Margarita. Are you old enough to drink yet, Bob? Uh -huh. I'll drink it for him. Junkyard Dog. See how fast you are. Oh, that's quick. Andre the Giant. <laughs> what are you looking at? I think it's something that the audiences are really going to enjoy. What is the monster's name again? E.T. <laughs> but I think also they might find maybe a few lessons along the way that we've learned over the years as a family. Sign my chest. I'll sign your chest. Uh, no, you won't. <laughs>